hello friends so welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn how to create a progress indicator chart so these chart which are called as progress indicator these are use very useful whenever you are you are like developing one power bi dashboard or on project management basically where you want to show the completion percentage okay so i'll just tell you what are the different steps for creating this progress indicator chart before that i'll just show you the today's data so in today's data if you see the table we have this main table which is the sales data it has three column segment actual sales and target sales so we have five segment then the actual sales and what they are with their target sales okay now today what we have to do we have to compare actual sales with target sales if actual sales is greater than target sales it means the target is achieved their completion percentage should be 100 percent okay if actual sales is less than target sales their completion percentage should be less than 100 percent and we have to show that the remaining portion okay now the next thing if you see the model so basically uh, in model we have only one table and with three column okay there is no relationship and we don't want to build any relationship today okay now for this particular uh, like progress indicator chart i have created different measures so i'll just explain the measures one by one the first one will be target measure so target measure is nothing but submission of all target sales then actual measure submission of all actual sales after that we have uh, created one more measure which is actual versus target percentage so basically this actual versus target percentage will be different between actual and target sales divided by target sales because we are comparing the sales actual sales with target sales so it will show the percentage if the percentage is positive it means that actual sales is higher than target sales it means target sales is achieved okay if the percentage is negative it means that the actual sales is less than target sales and target is not achieved okay then we have uh, created one more measure which is achieved one so achieved will be minimum of this okay and similarly remaining will be maximum of this okay so you have to use two function minimum and maximum if you want these formulas i'll give it to you okay the next thing is we have created two more major which is segment title and target status label so basically in segment title what we have done so we have used one variable okay selected value function we have used and it will what it will show i'll just tell you before that i'll just create one table okay so if you create the table in rows what we want we want segment and in column we want their actual sale sorry in value we want their actual sale their target sales and their actual versus target percentage uh, this is our table so if uh, the numbers are not visible uh, what i'll do i'll just format this table and i'll increase the size so go to values so from here you can increase the size similarly for column header you can increase the size and for row header as well you can increase the size okay now i guess the numbers are visible okay so uh, what we will do now see i i was telling you this uh, segment title so based on your selection this title will come for example if you select channel partner only so the name channel partner will appear again if you select enterprise so the name enterprise will appear again if you select government the name government will appear now what is this red and green color i'll show you okay so basically this red and green color means if you see this segment title formula so what i have done i have used an if clause here i have used if clause if this actual versus target percentage is greater than zero it will give this green emoji and if it is less than zero it will give red emoji so for typing the emojis in the formula what you have to do you have to press windows and uh, period key period key means dot key for example if i press windows and dot key okay this screen will appear emoji so you can select any emojis from here okay now we are going to create a 
particularly progress chart so for this the first one we uh, we are going to use one visual here so we will use this stacked bar chart hundred percent stacked bar chart we'll just increase the size of this one okay now what we will do inside it we will show achieved we'll select achieved as well as remaining so see this light blue color is showing achieved this purple color is showing remaining okay and we don't want all other things so everything you can just disable legend also if you want to show the percentage you can show like this okay and data label you can disable Okay. now in this visual what we are going to do uh, see here basically uh, we will show something with the card okay so in ca uh, we will use the card visual so basically see uh, now you want to eliminate this color in progress chart so what do you you will do just select this particular visual go to format your visual option after going to format your visual go to bar and instead of this one use this light color so see this percentage till this it is completed and this one is remaining so it shows progress kind of thing okay now we want to show this remaining percentage in the form of number okay directly number so for that what we will do we will use this card visual so in this card visual we will use remaining as a field so what you can do uh, go to format your visual disable the category label so as we want to show only this number and after that we want to show one more thing which is target status label so I'll just show you the formula so basically what we are doing again we are using if clause if the percentage is greater than zero it is above target and if the percentage is less than zero it will show two target okay so what i'll do i'll select one more card visual same like this okay and in this percentage we will show target status label so see what this chart shows i'll explain okay so basically all segment we have selected 81.1 more percent is completed 13.9 percent is remaining as it is remaining it is show to target now if you change the selection okay segment so as the hundred percent progress is achieved so that's why it is in green in color we have selected channel partners as a segment and now we don't have to achieve anything so it will be it will return about target okay so like this you can use if you select enterprise so again enterprise it is not hundred percent completed so that's why the remaining percentage is 26.9 percent and status it is showing to target okay now similarly let's say uh, we want to show this progress in the form of circle so what we are going to use for that we will use donut chart okay I'll just select all so this donut visual we will use so in this what we will do um, we will again show achieved values and remaining values all other things we will disable so go to format your visual legend we will off data label we will off we'll just style it spacing you can increase like this okay now we don't want to show this color so instead of this one we will use any light color like gray okay so this much progress is achieved now same you have to create this tool uh, card labels or card visual and just drag it here okay sorry yeah just copy this and paste here okay so if you select 
channel partner so for channel partners 100% is achieved for enterprise something is remaining 26.9 is remaining okay so like this you can create progress chart okay and I hope you got this one how to use the emoji in your visuals okay so just you have to press windows key and dot key dot simply dot if you press these two keys together you will get one option to select the emoji okay so these type of visuals are very useful whenever you want to show progress any kind of progress i hope you like this trick use this uh, concept in your power bi dashboard your dashboard will look wonderful so thank you for joining in this video